good day guys got some case updates for you today so we start with the case of Peyton Houston now Peyton Houston of course her deceased body was found January 3rd buried in the backyard of a house in Hueytown she was last seen December 20th leaving a bar in Birmingham Alabama now the chat that they were after have been after Frederick Hampton 50 year old who has previous he's now been caught and charged with abuse of a corpse he was taken into custody 7 30 p.m on wednesday night in cleveland ohio it was the u.s marshals northern ohio violent fugitive task force that captured him he was captured at a residence in garfield heights and he's currently being held awaiting extradition to Alabama. As I say, he is a convicted sex offender, but he is not being charged in direct relation to Payton's death, only with actions the authorities say he took following her death, i.e. burying her body. On Thursday morning, the coroner's office released the cause and manner of Peyton's death as an accidental drug overdose of morphine and methamphetamine. Now, I think that's what we call in the UK, what they call on the street a speedball. It's basically a mixture of heroin and amphetamine. Obviously, in the UK, we don't really have the stronger methamphetamine or meth, but it's quite available easily available in the US as I understand and morphine of course diamorphine is basically heroin the authorities say that there was no physical trauma to Peyton's body that would have led to her death so they're obviously quite sure that it's this accidental drug overdose that's all they're saying at the moment but at least Frederick Hampton is now in custody. Megan Firamuska, who was previously arrested for kidnapping and tampering with a corpse, has now been charged with the capital murder of Heidi Boussard. A grand jury indicted Megan on those charges on Tuesday. Heidi's cause of death was listed as asphyxiation, but prosecutors alleged that Megan intentionally caused the death of Heidi Broussard by ligature strangulation and by asphyxiating Heidi with a leash and with her hand in a manner unknown and that's what comes from the actual indictment she's been jailed on a 1.1 million pound bond 1 million for the capital murder and 100k for kidnapping now under Texas statute, a murder is capital if the offender intentionally commits the murder in the course of committing or attempting to commit aggravated kidnapping, burglary, robbery, aggravated sexual assault, arson, obstruction or retaliation or terroristic threat. Capital murder is punished with either a life sentence without parole or the death penalty while murder is punished with a prison term of 5 to 99 years or life imprisonment. Since the 1976 reinstatement of the death penalty, Texas has put 529 prisoners to death. So it will be interesting to see whether the state pushed for the death penalty in Megan's case. And is she going to plead insanity? Which of course is what a lot of these murderers seem to do. Next up we've got the rodeo nurse Crystal Lee Kenny. Of course was a mistress of Patrick Frazee and helped Patrick clean up the murder of his fiancee Kelsey Berath. Now on Tuesday Crystal was ordered to spend three years in prison. Of course she initially took the plea deal on a tampering with physical evidence charge in agreement to testify against Patrick. Now, minutes before she was sentenced on Tuesday morning, Crystal Lee stood in front of the court and listed out apologies. 
She was donned in all black with blonde hair pulled back in a tight French braid. She said she was sorry that she let her emotions and fear cloud her judgment. That she was sorry that Kelsey Berra's friends and family will live the rest of their lives without her. And that she was sorry that Kaylee Berra, Berra's younger daughter, will grow up without her biological mother. I'm sorry that I did not save Kelsey, she said through tears. Just before 11 o'clock, Judge Scott Sells made the decision on a sentence, simply saying, I am sorry is not enough, he said. And Crystal Lee, who's 33, was sentenced to three years in prison, followed by one year of mandatory parole. It was the maximum sentence that he could hand down. As I say, Crystal had agreed to plead guilty to one count of tampering with physical evidence in exchange for testifying against Patrick nearly a year ago in his first degree murder trial. So has justice been fully served there? What do you what do you feel about that one? And lastly we have Kelly Owen from Long Island. She's twenty seven. Uh, she was a nursing student and her estranged husband 27 year old as well a former marine has been arrested and charged with second degree murder authorities say that the two have been estranged since january of 2019 and had a prior domestic in december 2018 but they were still maintaining a physical relationship they believe that her estranged husband michael owen strangled her after she told him that she was pregnant with their second child. Kelly was found dead inside the family home on First Avenue in South Farmingdale on January the 15th. Investigators said that there was no obvious sign of a break-in and the medical examiner said that she died from asphyxiation. Michael Owen was reportedly involved with another woman where he lived in St. James. Officials say that he served as a Marine for eight years before honourably being, sorry, before being honourably discharged. He was currently working with a company that installs cell phone towers. Michael was remanded without bail and a judge ordered that he not have contact with his daughter. He is expected back in court on Friday. It's worth noting that if any of these female offenders end up inside one of the Texas prisons, then we may well have some inside information regarding them, obviously, because we have now a contact inside Gatesville prison anyway in Texas. So that's something just to bear in mind. We might be able to bring you some unique insight and gossip as to what's going on inside the prison if any new inmates are taken in there or are going to be taken in there anyway that's it for today guys so i will speak to you soon